Hi everyone, I'm here today back in the ICM offices again and today I'm testing the Logitech Rally Bar. So this is the Rally Bar here next to me and it's an, it's an all-in-one collaboration unit that has speakers, microphones, cameras all built into one unit and what you can do is you can either run that in appliance mode and have it registered to Pexip or Zoom or Microsoft Teams or a bunch of other things or you can have a USB cable connected to it, plug it into a PC and use it as a peripheral. So if you've got a Zoom room or a Microsoft Teams room, you can use this as a, as a USB peripheral. It's fully certified for both Zoom and Microsoft Teams. The, the main camera here, this is a 4K camera that is a full pan tilt zoom camera, so you can see it kind of moves around a little bit. This camera will move around the room and it uses a feature that Logitech called Right Sight, which will do things like speaker tracking and auto framing and those types of things. We'll have a little look at some of those features in a little bit. And there's another lens here, which is used for getting a wider angle of the room and finding different people. So that if the, if the PTZ zooms off to one side and you're in a situation where people at the other side of the room and now can't be seen by this camera, well, the, the sense camera can find them and the PTZ can know to zoom back over and have a look. So I'm gonna get this hooked up in front of the screens I've got at the front of the room. I'm gonna put it just below the screens and I'm gonna to look to set this up on MTR for Android and see what it sounds like, see how the, some of the tracking works and show you some of the features that we can set up for this unit. So here we are looking at the front of the unit. So all of the audio devices are completely contained within the unit. Uh, you can use the expansion mics, but if you're using the built-in system, then the, there are large speakers built in to either side of this unit. And the, the audio that you get out of the rally bar is, has a really good full sound. Um, for your small to medium meeting rooms, it can easily cover any audio requir requirements you might have there. And from a microphone perspective, the system has beamforming mics built in. So again, the idea is however far back you set in the room, the beamform mics will be able to pick you up at a reasonable level and have everyone come into the call at the same volume. Here we are looking at the back of the unit. I'll just take the back cover off here and we'll have a look inside the units. So these little toggles just screw off. And then what that gives you is along the top and bottom here, you've got these purple cable containment grips. So all of your cables, if you are mounting underneath the screen, your cables are going to come down through these grips here and go to the connections. If you're going to mount the unit above the screen, you'd go the opposite way. The cables will come up through the bottom grips. And so we've got a connection over here for power. We've got a mic pod, so you can plug in the mic pod extensions if, you, if the audio pickup isn't good enough for you. You want to put this in a larger room, you can put expansion mics in there on the table and various USBs for different peripherals that you can hook up. We've got a HDMI ingest port um, for presentation, and we've got the two HDMI outputs for your left and right screen. Ethernet connection for hooking up to the network so that you can get this registered on Logisync, or if you're using it in appliance mode, so that you can have the device see out to the internet and you can make your calls. And a USB-C connection, um, which again, if you're using the, the unit in device mode, you just want to use it as a peripheral for an MTR for Windows or a Zoom room, you can use that connection to link back to your PC. And then over on the right here, you can just see we've got the power button, we've got a Bluetooth button, which is needed for pairing the remote, and we've got a reset button here, which if you ever need to factory reset the unit or anything like that, that's where the, the button is. So I've got the unit set up now and configured for MTR on Android. And at the moment, I've got the device set to group framing. And just double check, I've got the framing speed set to best. So as I move around, we should see the camera repositioning, framing me, keeping me in shot at all times. The audio that you're hearing on this call at the moment is the audio being picked up from the microphones built into the rally bar. And this is not an ideal space for testing audio, really. I've got arched ceilings above me, quite high ceilings. The, there's a lot of reverberation in the room. 
and when I'm speaking here in the space, there's aircon, which isn't quiet, and there's traffic out on the road outside that can all be heard in the room, and the, the microphones that are built in to the rally bar, it's going to do its best to cut all of their background noise out and try and give the best possible audio on the other side of the call. So what you can hear is the audio from the microphone built into the rally bar after it's done all of its audio processing and try to deal with all of it. So let's see what the auto framing looks like. If I move around a little bit, I come over here towards the printed space. And that should find me. Try and keep me in frame there. And then I'll just come around to the other side of the table. And this time I'll sit down as well. Let's just see how that repositions and finds me. And I've just been joined by my colleague Josh as well. So hopefully if Josh comes and sets the other side of the table, what we should see is that the camera then repositions to frame both of us. Once Josh has settled. Hello. Hello. Excellent, there we go. So we can see that reposition now to keep both of us in shot. So let's have a look now. I'll set the, the tracking features that are built into the sync are the Logitech right site two features. And so they've got a new feature that's not been out for too long at the moment, which is their new speaker view settings. So I'm going to set speaker view. I've got speaker detection set to best, and I've got framing speed set to best. So I've just hit apply. And what we should see now, if I sit back down at the table, is when the camera chooses to track a speaker, the main image that you'll get there is the person that's speaking into the camera. You also get that picture in picture image along the bottom that lets the people on the far end see the entire room. So if you've got someone at the back of the room, if you've got three or four people sat around the table, that image is going to show you all of the people in the room and the camera is going to focus on the individual speakers. And then if multiple people in the room start talking, so if Josh starts oh, speaking um, for me a little bit. Back and forth, back and forth. And then what you should see is that we start to go back to the group view in a second because it can't track on one or the other. There you go. So it's going to zoom out. It, it drops that speaker view. And then as soon as I start talking again, it should go back to the, the uh, split view at the bottom, just like. So there we go. That's the, that's the speaker view on the Logitech Rally Bar. So here we have the panel that I've been using to control the system today. This is the Logitech Tap panel. Um, it's probably one of the most popular panels that are out there in Microsoft Teams rooms. Personally, I've, I'm just, I'm not keen on how low profile the panel is. Um, I, I like a panel to be stood up a little bit more. This one sits a little bit flat. It's, it's a very popular panel. It's a nice big panel. It's very responsive, easy to use. So it's got the standard Teams room on Android interface at the moment. So I could press meet now to go and start making a call. So if I found Jeremy and I want to give Jeremy a call, I'd push dial and that would start calling him. If I had my presentation, presentation cable plugged in, I could come here and start sharing. And if I go to more, I can get to the settings features down here. So if I come into settings, you'll see, because it's an Android bar, I've got the Android settings rather than the Windows partition that you get on the Microsoft Teams room for Windows. If I come here into device settings and I go to admin settings, and I've just got default password one, two, three, four at the moment. And from that page, you can get to all the Logitech settings that are specific to the rally bar and the tap rather than the standard MTR and Android interface that you get on all the other devices. So if I was registering this unit on Sync, I've got an option there to do that. I can come in here to updates. If there are any updates available, I could download them, get them installed straight away. But I'm already on an up-to-date version because I did that before the video. Um, the page that's likely to get the most use on this screen, I would say, is the camera screen. This is where we can go in and get to those different views that I was talking about on the the other part of the video. So you can see I've got right site two enabled at the top and that lets me at the moment I have group view enabled. I can set that to dynamic or to start on the call start um, so that when the call starts it automatically starts tracking. And for framing speed I can do slower, default or faster and at the moment I've got that on faster um, just because for the purpose of the video it was easier to demonstrate what that looks like when the camera is moving a little bit quicker. If I come over here to speaker view 
it's going to warn me that this is currently a beta feature. They're currently looking for feedback on what this looks like and whether people like it. If I click Enable, then as discussed, I can go in there, I can choose to have the picture-in-picture -picture enabled or disabled. And again, I can choose speaker detection, slower default fest, and frame and speed, slower default faster. So for my systems, I would tend to leave things on group view. I've said in some of my other videos, I think with speaker track systems, the cameras can move around a little bit too quick. People tend not to like the cameras zooming right in on the face all of the time and really focusing in on them when they're, when they're trying to have a meeting. It feels more natural to have things like group, set, group view settings or spe um, people view settings, things like that, so that the cameras make sure everyone's in shot, make sure we can see everything that's going on in the meeting, but you know we don't get motion sickness from the camera pinging around all the time. So that's been the Logitech Rally Bar on Microsoft Teams Room for Android. If you're interested in this or any of the other devices we've looked at in any of the videos, or if there's a device we haven't done a video on that, you, that you're interested in that you'd like to maybe look at getting a loan or a demo set up for, then you can email info at isdmsolutions.com and we will be more than happy to help.